In this video, you will see the termination process for the FIS Cheetah SOC on 3mm jacket. Here are the items necessary for installation. Fusion splicing machine, high precision cleaver, UV curing station and epoxy, fiber stripper and scissors, cheetah connector crimp die and tool, 3mm cordage holder and SOC holder, cleaning solution and wipes, connector strip chart and marker, and FIS cheetah connector. First, make sure the Kevlar extends to the end of the 3mm jacket. If not, cut a small portion back until it is flush to the end of the jacket to ensure the proper strip lengths. Slide the 3mm boot on the field fiber. Following the strip chart, measure back 37mm on the 3mm jacket and make a mark. Remove the 3mm jacket at the mark made with the fiber stripper. Next, slide the metal crimp ring over the field fiber, followed by the plastic ring. The plastic ring stays over the Kevlar to keep it fanned back. For ST and LC connectors, the smaller crimp ring will work. Following the strip chart, measure to 7 mm on the 900 micron jacket and make a mark. Remove the 900 micron jacket, followed by the acrylite coating. Make sure you remove all of the acrylite coating. Clean the fiber with cleaning solution and wipe. Check your field fiber against the strip chart and adjust the 900 micron jacket, if needed, to match. Take the 3 mil cordage holder and place the field fiber into the holder with the 3 mil jacket flush to the end of the inside of the holder. Cleave the fiber, and place in the left side of the fusion splicing machine. Take the FIS Cheetah SOC and remove the cleave protector and ferrule cap. Place the connector into the FIS Cheetah SOC holder. Place the connector holder on the right side of the fusion splicing machine. The setup should look as shown before forming the splice. Close the lid and perform the splice. Take the UV cure station and place the UV cure channel as shown. Lift the fusion splicing lid and remove the clamp and jacket of the fiber holder. Take the connector holder and the field fiber and lift together, keeping slight tension so the splice remains taut. Do not twist or bend the splice, as this could break the fusion splice. Set the connector holder and cable into the UV cure station as shown. Fill the epoxy channel completely to ensure a proper curing. Press the start button to cure the epoxy. If you find more time is needed to cure the epoxy, simply adjust the dial on the side of the machine to add more time as needed. 
Remove the fully cured channel from the cure station. Bring the plastic ring or the crimp ring back and fan the Kevlar up to the back of the connector. For SC connectors, bring the plastic ring up around the cure channel and slide the crimp ring up to the back body of the connector. Using the crimp tool, crimp the connector body to 190 for SC and 128 for ST and LC. The connector boot is a 161 crimp for all connector types. Slide the boot up to the back of the connector and crimp the ring at the boot. For SC connectors, snap on the outer housing. You have now completed the FIS Cheetah SOC for 3mm jacket.